Hikaru Karuana and the games will be underway right now. Hikaru has the result odds, Fabi has to win, and we've got the Sicilian. I'm a bit surprised because I did think that Hikaru was in huge trouble the first time around in this opening. So Fabiano, he's probably happy that there's been a repetition of opening lines. Wow, and uh, Hikaru is the first to switch things up. We see it trade. Uh, this is a really well-known variation where black is solid, but... but has partnered with the bishop pair. Uh, look at white's pieces all back on the first rank. Uh, retreat down here, and uh, wow, the speed shows the preparation levels by, by both players here. But long-term advantage for white, you have a pair of bishops, even though you've retreated back to your starting row. And those bishops, their power is going to happen later in the game. So I do think that Hikaru, maybe he's playing a little bit on his emotions. He just wants to forcefully get that draw, get a win, a much needed win, because Tanya, as you said, the survival stage, he needs a win to get there. He really does. Uh, such a critical, critical match for Hikaru. And in his interview with Kaya, while well, they were like revealing the bit, he said, I just end up with black every time. Let's see if I can win finally or not. What do you make of that? He's choosing to get black. He's bidding some low numbers, 909. Their first bid, I believe, was 959. Uh, so they had a tie there. And he went very low. He clearly won the black pieces. So he needs to prove that he can hold the draw. So he's happy getting the result odds in this one, which puts the pressure on Fabi to try and create something. We see a lot of pawn trades happening, which also open up, opens up uh, Sorry, Hikaru's bishop on g7, gives it a target on the diagonal. Who is uh, who's more pleased out of this opening outcome? I think Fabiano. Uh, Fabiano hasn't had to do anything special. You mentioned uh, Tanya, the onus uh, in a must-win situation is normally on white to try and maneuver, to try and eventually take risks, break through, attack. But here, look at white's light square bishop. You mentioned black's dark square bishop. White's bishop there is uncontested. It's on a beautiful outpost, putting some pressure on. And uh, also with this massive time advantage, I think everything great for Fabiano Caruana right now. All right, well, uh, Fabi's got the kind of position...
advantage. It was the most beautiful pawns you'll ever see. And Fabiano, he's going for checkmate, as Robert says. It feels like there's going to be a killer blow any moment. That black king hiding in plain sight is three pawns temporarily the advantage. Why well, can just move the queen to any safe square, park it on e6. Looking for queen sacrifices here to cash in and mate end in style. But uh, Caruana, he's got so much time. I love that idea. Go in with your queen to e6, but the f7 pawn can be picked up. He does it, and if rook f7, I think the knight jumps in as well. Hikaru is almost giving up already. You can take rook takes pawn, but the knight from f3 lands on g5 or on e5, and one more piece into the attack, it will be game over. I'm imagining a smothered mate. Put the white bishop on b3, bring the white knight to g5, go queen g8, checkmate, <laughs> and uh, okay, he's bringing his knight in, adding a piece. Uh, adding extra flavors to this party right now. Oh, he can't stop it. No, that, there might be a smothered checkmate. And, uh, he stops the bishop from going to b3. Or does Do it anyway? Yeah, you can't even take the bishop because queen f7 would be checkmate. This might be smothered checkmate. Queen g8, knight takes h7. And oh, bishop h8, the only way to stave off the checkmate threat. But it won't survive much longer. Black is totally tied up. Black can barely move. And look at Hikaru. He is so disappointed right now. Just everything has gone wrong for him from the start of this event. This is a crushing position. Fabiano Caruana just has to put the finishing touches. He attacks the rook, which is tied down to stay on the second rank, the seventh rank for black here. Otherwise, queen f7 will be checkmate. It's a hopeless position for Hikaru. Yeah, he just needs to add the white rook to the mix. The other three pieces are perfectly, ideally placed. I mean, there's so many flashy ways of trying to checkmate here. Rook a2, looks good. Bishop c6, he's moving in for the kill. He's getting ready to sacrifice his queen again in certain variations, or to just push the white d-pawn. This is beyond hopeless right now. Hikaru, it's just been a heartbreaking day. Tough, tough day for him. Running into inspired opponents. You're supposed to celebrate your birthday. He came here, had his first matches on his birthday, and it's been uh, the worst possible present. I mean, it's just been really unfortunate play for Hikari. So many fans out there, I'm sure you're watching right now, but this is what happens when you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with all of the best players. Even Hikaru can have this kind of event where he's losing match after match. He's still somehow will have a chance to get to the survival stage, but uh, today is not his day. He will have to. He has to. To win tomorrow. He gives up, he resigns, shake hands, and Fabiano Caruana gets another win in the bag. And for Hikaru Nakamura, now it's not only about winning his last round robin tomorrow, but he will be hoping for results to go his way.